Joining me, we are just outside Aero Service Team, and today we're talking about air conditioners and efficiency and saving money. That's what everybody's concerned about. Chad, again, uh, a rate increase for a lot of people as far as their electrical rates, so it's really important to get the most out of our air conditioners. Yeah, and you know, as we're talking, you know, the average electrical bill is about $2,200, $2,600 a year right now. Mm -hmm. And I know that if you maintain your AC and your filters, you can easily shave somewhere between three dollars $500 off that on average. That's, that's really amazing when you think about it because you, you know, sometimes you look at a, and we're going to talk about furnace filters here in a little bit, but you go, Al, well, that's an expense. I can wait another month or two or whatever it is. Yep. But you really are costing yourself money by doing that. You are, you know, and different filters, you know, different thicknesses, they last yep. different amounts of time. We've kind of been through that before, but you got your, you know, your your one month filter, your three month filter, your nine month filter, right. you know. Okay. So, and, and as you buy the filter, first of all, your furnace, you, you know, depending on the size of your furnace, you're going to need a different filter. If somebody doesn't know, well, how often do I need to change it? Is there a way that they can figure that out or somebody they can ask? Well, um, anything that's a one inch filter, they, they recommend that that filter gets changed out every month. Okay. Okay. There's a three inch filter. So it's, this is a, considered a one inch filter. It's like 20, this one's 24 by 24 by one. Okay. Make sure you know what the size is. Yeah, you got to get the home, size. <laughs> you're going to come home and it doesn't fit. Take a picture, go to the yep. store. The, the next size thicker, which is a two to three inch, you're going to be at that three to four month range. Okay. And then the thicker one's a full five inch. You're going to be around that nine month range. Right. And that's just depending on what's going on in the house. That's kind of a, I mean, that's a really wide filter. I've had those before. And there again, you want to keep an eye on it because just because it says one month or three months yep. or, or nine months, you want to check that periodically. And if it looks like that, yeah, no, this is from my house today. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> needs to get on Chad to change the I filter. I have a moth in my there filter, which totally, totally concerns <laughs> yeah, okay. me. Okay. But you can definitely see the difference. Sure. And I think I put this one in around Christmas, but I have floor heat, so okay. my furnace wasn't running. Gotcha. Now, I also keep an eye on it. I put it in my phone calendar. When I put in a new one, and if it says a month or three months or whatever it is, I put a reminder in just before it's due to be pulled out, and I'll check it from time to time. There are times where the furnace isn't going to run or the AC is not going to run as often, October, September, and then in the spring as well. So there, there's a little leeway too, but you just need to check it. Yeah, there's definitely some like areas where there's not as much airflow going on in the houses. So. Okay. Now, one of the other things, this is the simple one. This is inside. Yep. It's easy to check. It's easy to replace. It takes a little more work to make sure your condenser outside. Yeah, and that's probably something that gets overlooked a lot. Mm -hmm. As you know, we're getting really close to cotton season. Oh, yeah. I live in the river bottoms. It's kind yes. of begun. We're seeing it already. Yes. We are seeing it already. And Literally, when an air conditioner runs, that unit is sucking that cotton right towards it. It's pulling it in the bottom yep. and out the top. Yep. And so anything on the sides of that is blocking airflow. So that's going to create you know less efficiency and put a ton of strain on that motor. Not only that, but the way this is situated right here, you've got a lot of creeping jenny. So people may have, whether it's shrubs or whatever it is that's around this condenser, that's going to create a problem too. I came back here to like just kind of survey for yeah. a talk yesterday and I was a little embarrassed that we had, I don't know, plants growing sure. in our condenser. Yeah. <laughs> So those are growing on the inside. Oh yeah, they're inside too, and even on the back, it's worse. Okay, all right, but there's there's a way to do this. Safety comes first, but it's it's a simple garden hose, a brush, and you've also got a spray that you say is going to. Yeah, I think once a year, I like to use like a condenser or cleaner. Okay. And what you do is you spray it on. You know, the the first thing you do is turn the power off. Yes. You don't want to do it while it's running right now. No. No, turn the power off. Do that inside or do uh, it out I here? I like to do it out here pull because there's the generally, generally yeah. disconnect. Yes. Some pull out most residential houses. These are a commercial building, so they have a slide. Okay. Okay, and then um, when you do that, then you can take some screws out. You know, all you need is a, a nut driver. Yep. There's, I a, took, there's a handful I took some of screws them. Out there's to, several of them. They're to, small. To show how it works. Yep, exactly. Right? And uh, basically, I, re I remove the top of that one. We'll turn the power off. I'll put some condenser coil cleaner on. 
we'll spray some water on it. And you'll be able to see, like, even though it doesn't look that dirty, besides the weeds growing through it, right. there's a lot of dirt and debris in there. Never mind the weeds. <laughs> that, that definitely inhibits, you know, sure. your maximum capacity of just doing a good job. All right, walk us through that. I'm going to step aside. Okay, you're gonna so I'm going to walk over it. here. Okay. We'll, we'll grab this. You know, we've already used the drill. Okay. We got all our screws out. We're gonna go turn the uh, turn the power off. I'm gonna turn the power off to both units because one's still running. This is a pull-out unit. Okay. And this is actually a slide unit okay. where it's clearly labeled off. So I released this top already. So what you do is just kind of fold that up. And you want to be careful there because of the fins. Don't, don't want to wreck any fins, yep. absolutely. You know, there's a lot of debris inside of here. I'd probably get in there, grab a lot of that, you know, try and get as much out as you can. This thing is too dirty, so we're gonna remove this. You know, they say a brush or whatever, but I think your hand is gonna do a pretty good job and kind of a little picking. Okay. Getting all that debris off, okay? Yep. Just for like visual appeal. We'll leave that about like that. And then this is that foamy condenser we talked about. Right. This will kind of get in there and suspend everything. Okay, and that's easy to find at a hardware store or wherever. Yep, hardware store, that's where I got it. You put that on. How long does that have to sit there? Um, a couple minutes. All right. And then do you need the garden hose? Yep. I'll bring that over. And in like a normal situation, like due to time, I'd have probably taken a brush. Right. Brush a little bit of that, but be careful not to damage your fins. Exactly, because you don't want to damage this nor this fan. No. And a hundred times over, make sure that shut off before you tilt yes. that up because that fan is like way powerful. Wow, it's, you know, we don't want to be bleeding. Be. You were bleeding a little while ago. Yep. And I will say this before we're not going to have you, we're not going to have time for shooting this up. But then you just go in with a garden hose with a I'll nozzle do it on really it. quick. Just I'll get out of your way. Because... I want to get just, <laughs> you can just kind of see how it, how it presses through there. Yes. And you can see kind of where that dirty water starting to come out. Yep. And that's. How often should you do that, or do you just take a look at it and say, hey, the condenser need, the air conditioner needs to be cleaned out? I, I think depending on where you live. Sure. Depending yeah. on where you live. Down is the by key. the river where there's a whole lot of cotton wood you trees, may have to do it you're going to have three to times do it. a year. Exactly. And, you know, not every time it needs to be taken apart, maybe a leaf blower, you know, just getting, getting that big stuff off so that it can breathe. Sounds good. All right. We talked about. Uh, It'll save you money. We talked about changing the furnace filter on the inside. We talked about taking care of the outside. Any other things here in the last 30 seconds that you could say as far as air conditioner maintenance that, that a lay person can do? All I can tell you is that if you do this kind of stuff, you potentially could save yourself a service call. Yeah. And that'll save you even more money because you're already saving yeah. that three to $500. And then you end up saving another couple hundred on top of that. Um, that's that's the key why we're here. That's a great point. Not only are you saving money by being more efficient in your home, but you're also saving money not having somebody have to come out. Chad, where do we find Aero Service Team? Um, in Bismarck, we're on Broadway Avenue and Dickinson, we're right south of uh, a Rough Rider RV. Okay. Sounds and great. Uh, you can get us on Facebook, Google. Your website is? AeroServiceTeam.com. All right. Chad Lyer, Aero Service Team. We're taking a break. We're back. We've got more coming up right after this.